Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nora and thank you so much for watching. Before we jump into today's video, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow your girl on Instagram because you already know we're growing the family across all platforms. So, really excited for today's video. Today's video is actually going to be another styling video, but today we are styling around a pair of shoes, and I should say specifically sandals. And if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok already, like you should be, they're always linked down below in my description box. Um, I already did a full on unboxing over there. I'll probably include a little bit of the clip here as well, but we are going to be styling a pair of Gucci platform sandals. If y'all have been anywhere on the internet, you probably have already seen these. So I thought it would be fun to do another styling video. Y'all already know I love these kind of like quick reference videos. Um, if you are thinking about picking these up, hopefully this will help you style them a little bit. If you were on the fence, Hopefully this will help out as well. Um, it's not going to be a full blown review. Again, this is more of a styling video, but just a couple little tidbits that I wanted to share about the shoe. Uh, let me actually just pull them out for you all real quick. All right, so they come in individual dust bags for each sandal and here they are. I just think they are so stinking cute. Love the platform. I feel like the platform 90s Y2K thing has definitely been coming back. So again, these are the Gucci platform sandals. I don't remember like the exact name of them, but I'll have them linked down below. I did just get them in the brown canvas with the GG monogram on them. Um, I picked these up off of net a I did not get this off of the Gucci website. Um, I think they were around seven something. Again, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'll have them linked down below. Um, I did get them in a size 38 for reference. Um, I am traditionally a seven and a half. Um, I don't believe they did half sizes, so I just did a 38 for this, but um, love the fit of this. Now, I've heard a lot of mixed reviews of some people liking the sandal and then some people who feel like they're painful, they're heavy. For me personally, and I've worn these probably three times or so, I don't think they're heavy. I don't think they're hard to walk in. They did not hurt my feet. I didn't have blisters, anything like that. But I do want to call out one thing that might have made a difference. Um, I have a pretty narrow foot, so honestly, I actually have quite a bit of space at this top part. Um, sometimes I actually have to pay attention a little bit more and make sure I'm like kind of gripping the sandal. Not too, too much, but I have a little bit more of a narrow foot, so it does kind of slip and slide a little bit, but I've worn this to my cousin's graduations, walking around with this, you know, different cookouts, anything like that, and it's been perfectly fine. So I don't know if it'll kind of just depend on your foot. Um, they don't hurt my feet at all. I love them. I don't think they're that heavy. Obviously, they're a platform, you know, slipper, so they are heavier than obviously a, a traditional like flip-flop sandal, but I love them. I think they're super cute. And again, um, I'll have them linked down below. So wanted to share, like I said, a couple different outfits styling this video. I think we've got five looks uh, for us today. So hopefully you all enjoy this. And without further ado, let's jump right in. All right, so we're actually gonna start out with what I have on today for the first look. Um, I thought this was just like a super easy, casual way to, you know, kind of style the sandals. I feel like the sandals are pretty easy to style, but I know sometimes with, you know, monogram prints, I feel like people get a little bit nervous. So what I traditionally like to do is keep things within a similar colorway to the sandal obviously do whatever you wish whatever you feel most comfortable with but a lot of these looks you will see that I kept them in the same color family so for the first outfit I'm actually just wearing this linen shirt from my recent Zara haul if you guys didn't check that out I'll have that linked down below as well um, I just threw on underneath a skims bralette along with these shorts that I picked up last summer from Zara as well y'all know I love to do an oversized linen shirt I do like one little nice little button and then and tuck in the other side just to give a little bit of shape since the shirt is pretty oversized but again I felt like this was a really gorgeous way to just keep it casual but still elevated I feel like the linen kind of takes it up a notch but it's still casual with the denim and it's super easy to wear especially like on a day like today in Boston where it's about 75 degrees it's warm but there is still a little bit of a breeze so with the linen shirt I felt like complimented the sandal perfectly. This is actually what I'm gonna be wearing today. So I was like, you know what? Why not feature this in the video? I think it's super cute. And again, I love the way that the tones kind of pull in together on this first look. 
And don't mind me if y'all see me looking down, you already know I always got my little notes going on here. So um, love that look. So for our next look, I wanted to do another kind of denim casual feel. But again, if you're not necessarily in a place that you want to wear shorts quite yet, perfectly fine. Um, I did want to do a look with a pair of denim jeans. So these pair of jeans I actually got a couple years ago from Misguided. So unfortunately, I don't think I can link them down below. Y'all already know I'm big on shopping my own closet. So if I can find something similar on the website I'll link it for you all um, along with the denim jeans I did pair them with a, another skims top skims bodysuit y'all already know I love skims okay and a lot of Kimberly's collection has like these neutral colors that I feel are really easy to again kind of tie in with the sandals I did a quick little cuff on the pant um, they're more of like a mom jean style so they're pretty high-waisted um, and granted we're not showing a lot of skin because obviously you just have the uh, kind of like bodysuit from skims up top but I felt like just a nice little cuff still allows you to see like the shoe really nicely with a really cute anklet I'm all about anklets right now I feel like it's a really cute way to just kind of accessorize and again bring some attention to the sandal as well so I love this look you could easily throw on some sunglasses you could do a nice little like uh, you know wide brim hat with a bag honestly can accessorize this however you want but again I feel like keeping it within the same color family keeps it very uniform but still super chic all right, so for this next look, I did throw in a little bit of color, but still a little more neutral, a little bit more muted, and I feel like it's not anything too crazy that you don't feel like you can still pair it with the sandals. So I actually just threw on this slip dress from Target. Y'all, I love this dress. Um, I did go to Target recently, and I think they do have it in stock again. Um, I purchased it a couple years ago, but I feel like it's one of their like staple pieces that they bring back quite a bit so if I can find that online I'll definitely link it down below I think honestly the dress was like 20 22 dollars so like a really cool example of like a high low outfit very easy lightweight slip dress I love slip dresses again I know some people feel like they look like okay she going to sleep but you can elevate it throw it on with a nice sandal like this again accessorize it how you feel but I feel like the color that nice really like dusty rose pink still looks really nice with the brown without having to keep it super monochromatic like we kind of did with the first two looks. So I thought this would be kind of a nice little change. Again, for my ladies out there who maybe want to wear something a little bit more lightweight, a little bit more shifty, I felt like the slip dress was definitely a great alternative. All right, y'all, so now this next look. Okay, look number four. I think I'm just excited for warm weather. It's gonna be 85 degrees tomorrow in Boston, so I think I'm just ready for the warm weather. I'm ready to just, you know, be on a vacation. So I wanted to give kind of like a swimsuit beach pool type of look. Maybe not so much beach, because I don't think you're gonna to wanna to wear these sandals on day, but you catch my drift. If you're going to like a beach party type theme, I think this would be absolutely gorgeous. So I did pair uh, the sandals with my Skims bathing suit as well. I did have that haul here on my channel. Um, I do know for sure the swimsuit is sold out right now, but like I always mention with Skims, just sign up for the emails when they restock. You'll have that there. But I paired this with a Skims uh, triangle bikini top with a matching ball. Bottom. and then I love this yellow like kind of netted cover-up skirt um, I picked it up off of an Instagram boutique um, I feel like you can find this skirt a lot of different places the first time I actually saw it uh, Drea was wearing it with a black bikini on her Instagram and then I feel like all the boutiques made it um, I actually purchased this for my birthday trip last year but never wore it so I thought it'd be kind of cute again giving it a little bit of a pop of color but the yellow with kind of the nudish color tan of the bathing suit and then obviously with the sandals i felt like it was just a really great combination it's given body it's given elevated black girl women in luxury chic okay i love this look i again i don't know where i'm going i don't know what vacation i'm going on but i cannot wait to wear this with a really beautiful like beach bag i've been eyeing this bag from jacques mousse that i think i'm gonna pull the trigger on and i just feel like it would literally be chef's kiss for this outfit but really love this again any bathing suit that you wanted to do any cover up i just thought this would be a really kind of like fun sexy funky way to kind of dress this up a little bit and again have fun with it accessorize and i think it's gonna be a look all right and for our last and final look i thought this was a great way to kind of finish off hopefully I'm pretty sure I'm filming this video um, a couple days before Memorial Day, but I think this video will go up on Memorial Day. So I thought, 
what perfect way to round out this video than with throwing in some summer whites into this look as well. So again, I am featuring my Zara satin trousers. If you watched my recent haul, you would see that I just picked these up. You guys, I cannot wait to wear this. Now, honestly, I don't know if I'm actually gonna wear this on Memorial Day because I'm the kind of person white satin trousers it's, it's it's asking for a disaster but if you are mature and can handle a white look i think this would be absolutely gorgeous so i actually kept my skims bathing suit up top again i just kind of think it's like a sexy fun way to pair this if i was going to like uh, a beach day club kind of day party i think this would be really fun again if you don't want to show as much skin you could literally do if i had like a white i actually think i do have one but i think it's dirty but like a white linen shirt kind of like this you could throw it over tie it up you could do a white crop top I think just an all white look with the pop of the brown again it's just a really elevated and chic way to kind of style it um, I think with us going right into summertime summer whites are definitely fun and again I think sometimes people look at these and they see brown shoes and they figure that they can't do it but I think the white just makes the platform sandal look that much more elevated so I don't know I think between this and the bikini like bathing suit look, those might be like my two favorite looks. Y'all already know I end up loving all the looks anyways because they're things I would actually wear, but I don't know y'all. Let me know down below which look you think is hitting that you might want to put your own little flare and twist on, but uh, the white trousers just on the sandal, voila. <laughs> all right, you guys, and that is it for today's video. Hopefully not super long. I know I say that all the time, but I really do try to keep these styling videos really quick and fresh and just perfect reference videos that if you are looking to put together a look, again, by no means am I saying this is the only way you can style these platform sandals, but you know, if I could just nudge you in a, a certain direction and give you some inspo, that's what I'm here for. As always, anything that I can link down below, I will. I'll be sure to link the sandals for you guys as well, including my size. Uh, and that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I love you so much, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Bye.